Hi, it's Mai here and welcome to my channel where I share design, business, and marketing tips for service-based entrepreneurs. If that sounds like you, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when I post a new video. And you can also keep in touch with me by following me on Instagram at my Palmer Design. Right now I'd like to show you how to create a social media content calendar inside of ClickUp. If you found my channel, there's a good chance that you discovered me through my social media content calendar in Trello tutorial. That's my most popular video right now. I recently switched to a different project management system. I'm no longer using Trello. I now use ClickUp. And if you'd like to know more about why I decided to switch from Trello to ClickUp, I'll put a link in the description below to my video on Trello versus ClickUp. And I don't have anything against Trello. ClickUp just works better for me and my task management style right now in my business. But because I switched to a new system, I needed to come up with a new system for my content calendar. So my content calendar no longer looks exactly like the one that I showed you how to create in the Trello video. So in this tutorial, I'll show you the new way that I'm planning my content using ClickUp. So right now I'm inside of ClickUp and I'm in my MPD marketing space, which shows me all of my marketing content that I've planned. So you can see within my MPD marketing space, I have different folders for all the platforms that I'm on. And then within each folder, I have lists that are the content calendars for each platform. And if I click on my YouTube content calendar, I can see all of the YouTube content that I have planned. And I have the content broken down into different colors and each color represents a different category. Like if the video is just in the idea stage, videos in queue means that I need to record that video next. And if something's ready to edit, it'll go in that column or ready to upload or scheduled or complete once it's published. And these different stages of organizing my YouTube videos actually wasn't my idea. I got this idea from another YouTuber. Her name is Jessica Stansberry and I'll put a link in the description for this video to her video on how she plans her YouTube content. And so you'll see, for example, videos in queue is purple. So then when I switch to calendar view, I know that all of these videos that are purple means that those are the ones I need to record next. So I'll go ahead and show you how to create a new space that you can use for all of your marketing if you don't already have one. So you want to go to tasks, which is that ch check mark icon on the left sidebar. And then at the bottom, click add space. So now you can give your space a name like marketing and pick a color for it. And you can also choose a different avatar for it if you'd like. And then choose the workspace that you want it to be added to. Right now, it's just me using ClickUp for my business. So I just use my default Maya's workspace. And now it wants to know what task statuses you want. Those are the different categories for your lists and tasks that you saw that were color coded earlier. By default for all of my content, I like to either use the content status template or the marketing status template. And we'll be customizing these further for each platform later anyways, so it doesn't really matter which one you pick. But once you've picked a status template, you can go ahead and click next. And then it asks if I need to add any apps. I don't usually change any of these things. Again, I'm pretty new to ClickUp still, so I'm not entirely sure what everything does. Under my default settings for the views, since this is all for content, I do like to make sure the calendar view is set as one of my default options, so I'll check that. And once you've got that done, you can go ahead and create your space. Now that you have your space created, choose the new list option if all you need is a different calendar for each platform and each list can be a different platform or if you think you'll be having multiple lists for each platform like i have then i recommend creating a folder for each separate platform you're on and you can create different lists within each folder. And in case you don't know how to add lists to your folders, once you have a folder created, you just click the plus icon beside the folder to add a new list to it. 
Now I'm going to show you how to customize your different categories for your tasks. So you'll see that this is my YouTube content calendar and you'll see all those different categories like videos in queue, ready to edit, ready to upload. To customize those to board view and then on any of the lists you can click the three dots and choose the edit statuses option and once you do that you can choose what statuses you have for this particular list and change the color for each status you'll just choose custom instead of use folder statuses and you can add as many as you want rename them and change the color and once you have everything how you'd like it just make sure to hit save now i'd like to show you my instagram content calendar currently i have different categories based on where the content is going within Instagram. So for example, I have a column for my feed content, my stories content, my IGTV, and all my reels. And then of course closed once the content has been created and scheduled or published. And I've just found that that's helpful for me because of all the different types of content that we're all creating for Instagram these days. Don't feel like you have to do all of these things. I'm not an Instagram expert. I've just been experimenting with my Instagram content creation, trying to find what works for me, but just kind of think of a way to organize all of your Instagram content that works for you. Maybe if you have different content categories, you could have different columns and colors for each of those but right now this is what works for me so i just wanted to show you to give you some inspiration and you can customize these statuses in the same way that i showed you with the youtube content calendar one thing that i did want to show you is that you can also create checklists and checklist templates within cards which can be really helpful jessica stansberry talks about this in her video as well she had a process where she talks about planning and researching filming editing her videos uploading creating the thumbnail and so on and so in order to f make sure she didn't forget any of those steps, she made a checklist and saved it as a template that she can add to all of her tasks for YouTube. And so I've done the same thing with my YouTube content. To add a checklist, you'll just open up the task by clicking on it and then choose add checklist. And then once you have the checklist created, you can click the three dots beside it and choose save as template. And now if I close this task out and choose another one that doesn't already have my YouTube checklist on it, say I choose my how to pick a website template video, I can go down to add checklist and choose use template and then I'll search for YouTube and choose my YouTube videos checklist and now that's been added to this task as well. And to my knowledge, you can't add due dates to checklists in the free plan, but you can add subtasks to a task and add separate due dates for those subtasks. So that's been helpful to me. I'll show you how to do that. If you click on a task and you scroll down under to do where it says subtask, I can add a new subtask that says film part one and then maybe another that says film part two if I was breaking up my filming into separate days. And then on that subtask, I can set a separate due date that's different from the due date of the overall task for this video. So I just click the three dots beside the subtask, choose set due date, and then let's say if it's due on the 27th, I want to have part one filmed on the 19th by 5 p.m. I can set that separate due date for the subtask. So now when I go back to calendar view for my YouTube content calendar, You'll see all of my purple videos are the ones that are in queue for me to record next and then the gray ones are just ideas that haven't even been recorded yet. And if I switch back to my Instagram content calendar, you'll see I can tell the stories are in orange, the feed posts are in yellow, and so on. And if I go back and click on my MPD marketing space overall, I can see all of my content across all my different platforms on one calendar so i hope that this video was helpful for you and if you have any questions about anything that i showed in this tutorial or about my content planning process feel free to leave those in the comments below i look forward to hearing from you guys and i try to read and respond to every single comment thank you so much for watching and i'll talk with you again soon